there. <laughs> everybody, everybody knows that sort of bad news. You get, I don't know, sort of intoxicating, and you can't. You know he's bad news, but you can't say no. The script is up. Yeah. Oh my god. The cake factory. That. Yeah. I have yes. thought of that so yes. much. <laughs> it's different from your run of the mill because you finish it and go. I have to pass this on to my friend. Yeah. Because you know, for me, it just does feel that slightly. Mm -hmm. Something yeah. more grown up. Mm -hmm. Well, that's it. It's, you know, it's intelligent women's fiction. Mm -hmm. It just feels, it feels a bit more modern. Um, it's things that we can all relate to, as we've been saying. And I don't know. You just, she has such a great voice. Like such yeah, a strong, yeah. brilliant, funny, witty voice. Mm -hmm. Like I, she made me snort on the tube. <laughs> <laughs> I laughed so much. So it was, oh, it was, oh, it was so embarrassing. But you think, well, that's brilliant, yeah. though. You know, that's what this book does. I think her writing style is just, just so witty, like you said, but also just so sharp. Yeah. yeah. Like every emotion that she describes, yes. you know, every cake mm. that she depicts, mm. the, when she when they go away oh, on yes. holiday, like mm. everything is just so mm. on point the whole mm. way through. Stella manages to capture that kind of that real emotion. It's it's really authentic, that, and all those sort of hang ups that you know women go through that perhaps you don't always want to share or you don't tell other people but actually when you're reading you're thinking oh my god yeah <laughs> I've so been in this situation and you know yeah. really relate to it still now but yeah. it's still happening women you know supposedly have moved on and but we've still got that issue with men haven't we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> relationship with men but for me what it was was her relationship with herself and relationship mm. with her body I think it was portrayed quite carefully and quite cleverly so it didn't become a book about mm. you know body dysmorphia or eating disorders